I use crisp uh, cotton organdy or Swiss cotton organdy because it is, as you can see, very thin. It is, uh, so it adds no bulk. It is very tightly woven so it does not fray and it's tough. So it isn't going to disintegrate as you wear the garment as a silk organza might do. I'm going to pin my square of cotton organdy on the right side of my fabric just to hold it and then I'm going to just baste the organdy to the fabric and you don't have to be careful about this it's just to hold it there now I'm going to stick a pin exactly through the point and I'm using a small headed pin so that when I turn it over here I have it marked and then to be absolutely sure that I don't do too tight a V here, I'm going to use a little bit of tape because what I want here is sort of a curved V. I don't want it to be too tight at the point or I can't clip it without snipping my threads. So this is pretty narrow tape. It's about a fourth of an inch and I want to give myself enough room right there so that I can clip in there and not have it uh, too narrow. Okay, I'm going to remove the pin. I'm going to set my sewing machine for a short stitch and then I'm going to go and stitch right next to my tape. Stops down and I want to stop one stitch short of my corner. And I want to take one stitch across. So I'm going to go and do one stitch backward and then come forward again and pivot this around and come back down the other side. Okay, snip your threads, pull the tape off. Now we can remove the thread that's marking the, that's holding the organdy on. And with a sharp pair of scissors, snip right to the point. Now you want to snip to your thread, but not through your thread. Now I'm going to go to the pressing board and I'm going to press my organdy to the wrong side as well as my seam allowance. I'm going to press my seam allowance exactly in on the 5 8 inch line, which is going to come right to that point. Okay, there's my organdy and there's my reinforced point you can see that you can get a really crisp point by doing that. You don't want to have um, your organdy showing on the right side, but there's my reinforced corner. Now, put it on the corresponding pattern piece, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is just fold this back, line up my seam lines exactly, making sure that I'm right on the corner on both sides and pin it and my org I can pin my organdy to the corner which gives me some stability there and then we'll go to the sewing machine and stitch just a little bit beyond that corner now just make sure that your needle isn't going through the fold and again you can use a little bit of a small stitch here right in the corner and then I would lengthen it
Okay. One side down and one to go. Now this side you're going to be stitching on the opposite side. Okay. Okay, now we're going to pull threads through and tie them. Now let's take a peek at this on the right side and see what a good job we did. There's our angled seam.